In this tutorial, we'll see the basics of animation in TV Paint. So for this tutorial, I will animate something very, very simple. I will animate just bird footsteps, uh, just like if a bird was walking in the snow and we were seeing the footsteps appearing from the frame. First of all, I will draw my first footstep. Then to go um, further in the timeline, I will use the left or the right arrows on my keyboard, like this. I can also scrub by moving the cursor on the dark gray area, just here, at the top, like this. So now let's continue. I will draw my second footsteps. And so you'll notice when I'm drawing, a new drawing appears automatically in the timeline. And so I can continue the process on other images. Now to see the result, we can play the animation. To do so, we will click on the play button just here in the remote. Here the animation is read very fastly. If the animation needs to be slower, we will click here on the frame rate menu just here. So for example, if I use the value 10, I will read 10 frames per second and then the animation will be slower. At the contrary, if I use a higher frame rate, like 50 images per second, then it will be very fast. I don't advise you to always changing the frame rate just here. Actually, it's you can use it just for test, for example, to say, um, what is the result if I lower or increase the frame rate? But don't work with a frame rate always change. When you change the frame rate, it appears in red because it's not the original project's frame rate. To find back the project frame rate, we will click again on this menu and we will use project. And then we see the project frame rate is 24 frames per second. So there is another way to slower your animation. To do so, we will increase the duration of each images. But not images, actually, let's talk a little bit about vocabulary. In TV Paint, images are the images within the timeline. So image 12, 14, 16, 18. It's not, uh, that's, we won't hear the term of images to talk about the drawings. And we won't hear the term drawings as well. We will use the term instances. Instances are those drawings all those drawings can be composed of exposure cells. Exposure cells are a repetition of the first image, the first drawing available in an instance. So, just to explain to you, I will increase the duration of this instance. To do so, we'll click on the little square at the right button, just here. And then we can see our instance is now quite bigger. We have the head, so the first drawing, and then we have the exposure cells, like this. For people who already worked in traditional animation on paper, actually, this timeline looks a lot like an exposure sheet, a nick sheet. So I can repeat the process like this always by holding the right button corner square just here. The little square is called the tail. When you are clicking and you push on the right to make it bigger, on the left to make it smaller, there is a moment where your other instances are outside of your view. To decrease the view of the timeline, you can click on this little button just here. You hold the click and you go on the left to make it smaller and on the right to make it bigger. So now I have changed some duration for uh, some instances. I can play and see the result.
you'll notice there is another square available on at the top left corner of each instance. This is this little square just here. This square is named the sprocket. The sprocket actually allows you to change the timing between two instances without affecting the total value of your layer. Anyway, uh, be careful because if you move it too far, you can eat some other instances. So be careful. In well, in this exercise, actually, we have always added new images and you always have new drawings within a previous drawing. And there's no new drawing on each image. It's always the same drawing with an additional element. Actually, there is a guilty guy, and the guilty guy is the post behavior, just here. The post behavior is an element that defines the way your layer will behave when it's over. I will explain it in another tutorial. At the moment, I will just change the post behavior. To do so, I will click on this icon just here, and I will use known. And so you'll notice that the animation, I mean the drawings available, uh, the footsteps available, disappeared. And so now if I draw something, I will always draw on new empty space. So now let's create an animation where each drawing is different from the previous one. So first of all, I will make a right click to delete my layer and start on a new layer. Okay. So let's animate something very traditional, a bouncing ball. So I use the arrows to move on the right. And then I would like to draw another ball in my animation. So since it's really hard to animate uh, without seeing uh, the previous drawing, we can enable here the light table just by clicking here on this little dot. So you see there is a light bulb just here and under a little dark dot. And if you click on the on the small dark dot, we have the light table enable. And so we can continue to animate this bouncing ball. And then enjoy your animation by hitting the play button.